Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to actually do a straight line equation from a table. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is quite handy for people that are actually doing linear algebra or anything to do with straight line equations. So this particular calculator, we can actually input a table and then get this out as a straight line equation. And so we're going to get right into it. So the way we're going to do it is uh, make sure that you go into statistics mode first in your main menu. So we're going to click on stats mode. And then here we're going to click on two variable. So I'm going to go down to two variable. And when we do that, we are going to get a table that says X and Y. Now, if you don't have a table and you just have a diagram, you can just grab a, a set of coordinates from that diagram from that graph and then you should be able to create a little table and then you can put it in your calculator. So for uh, the first question here, I'm going to put in 5, 7, but I'm going to put the X values of, actually no, I might just go 5 and 7. So this is my first coordinate right there, 5 and 7. Then I'm going to do 7 and 11. So I'm going to go 7 and 11. Now, it doesn't matter in which order you put uh, the points in the calculator. I mean, you could have put 711 first or 57 first. It doesn't matter. The most important thing about entering these values is that just making sure that you put the right Y values for the right X values. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a completely different equation. All right, folks. So we've entered these two uh, sets of coordinates. The next thing we're going to do is click on the EXE button and you're going to pop up with this lot of um, menu here. And the one we're looking at is the uh, reg results. That's the second one here. We're going to click on that and then you should see something that says y equals to a plus bx. Now the a plus bx, that is for a straight line equation. So just click on it and what happens is you will get y equals to a plus bx and you've got an a value of negative 3 and a b value of 2. So we're going to write that down as it is. Now I'm just going to copy it down first. So I'm going to write down y equals to a plus bx. So I can actually say that y is equal to a, which happens to be minus 3, plus b, which happens to be 2x. But normally when we write straight line equations, we write it in the format of y equals to mx plus c. So all we're going to do in this case is just move the 2x like this and the minus 3 is going to be your C value so anytime you have a number in front of the X that's your gradient which is the M and then the number by itself is the constant which stands for C so we re rewrite this equation as Y equals to 2x minus 3 so for the second question what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this part again so I'm just gonna um, you can actually override these numbers with these numbers straight away, but let's say you want to delete a whole row. Uh, so what you can do is uh, we're going to click on tools and we're going to click on edit. And then as you can see, there's a delete all button and that's going to delete everything. And so we can actually restart uh, entering values for the table. So now we've got the X value of minus four, but I'm going to do the, the bottom coordinate first. So I'm going to do five and then I'm going to do negative 2. Then I'm going to do negative 4 and positive 8. And once I do this, then I click on EXE, go into reg results. And as you can see, I've got y equals a plus bx. I'm going to click on that again. And this time I am getting a very, very horrible number. Now, as you can see, sometimes you are not going to get like pretty numbers with your straight line equation. So for this particular equation, we've got y is equal to a plus bx. So a is equal to 3.556. I'm going to go with three decimal places for this question. Plus, oh, we've got negative 1.111x. So just rewriting this as y equals to mx plus c format. So we're going to get negative 1.111x plus 3.556. Now, as you can see, not all straight line equations are going to be with uh, pretty numbers like we had in the first question. Sometimes you do get recurring decimals. When it comes to these kind of situations, you have to kind of uh, know how to actually rewrite these as fractions 
or you might just need to use um, a normal straight line equation using the long method without the calculator which would actually give you your gradient as a fraction and your y intercept as a fraction as well so that is just a quick tutorial to show you folks how to get a straight line equation from a table on this particular calculator